You're watching WMAR 2 News. This Friday, the Abortion Care Access Act in Maryland goes into effect. I'm Megan Knight with your WMAR 2 News update. The General Assembly passed this legislation earlier this year to make abortion care more accessible. It creates an abortion clinical care training program to train more medical professionals to perform abortions, and it requires funding of those programs. Starting next July, $3.5 million will be used to fund that program. Um, they'll be licensed um, clinicians who are health care providers, and they'll be trained to provide abortion care in Maryland. Um, it also uh, has provisions related to payment for care, so it requires that insurance companies cover abortion care with no cost sharing, no deductibles, and it requires the same of our state Medicaid program. And Maryland will also care for out-of-state women who are seeking help. Governor Hogan did veto this bill during the session, but lawmakers overrode that bill. And again, starting next July, $3.5 million will be used to fund this program. The investigation continues after a teenager was shot in Baltimore County over the weekend. Police were called out to Marquette and St. Regis Road in Rosedale on Saturday, shortly after midnight, which is not too far from Garden Village Park. Police say the victim actually called for help. No word on that teen's condition. There is a $2,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest. And starting today, families can begin to enroll their children into pre-kindergarten or kindergarten at Baltimore City Public Schools. This applies to kids who turn four or five by September 1st. Parents can enroll their children by either going right to their neighborhood school or you can do it online. Space in pre-K is limited, so the school district says if spots are not available at a family's neighborhood school, staff will help them find a place at a school nearby. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Good morning, Maryland. We're waking up to some rain showers out there this morning. Pretty sparse and disorganized in nature, but don't be surprised if you hear a few rumbles of thunder. The good news is it's not going to be an all day rain or even a thunderstorm event. We actually start to dry things out later on this afternoon and into the evening. You'll need those sunglasses later on today for National Sunglasses Day. And of course, it's going to be feeling warm and muggy with a high temperature right around 80 degrees. So that is kind of where we should be for this time of year. Dropping off into the 60s as we head overnight under mainly clear skies, less humid. This is breaking weather news. It's going to feel very comfortable for Tuesday and Wednesday with wall to wall sunshine, then hot and steamy end to the work week. Megan? Stevie, thank you very much and stay with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates and for your news and weather while you're on the go. You can always download our app in your phone's app store. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan Knight.